we used to have a single bed like kakitanda kamoja mm. kamtu mmoja mm. but we used to sleep like tunashare so alikuwa anachukua two chairs anaeka hapo kando ya bed ndio sasa zina space tuko na space na sasa mko europe tuko europe lin mimi ndio nilikuwa sasa mimi ndio mdosi wow. why your relationship sasa <laughs> so mimi ndo nilikuwa provider. Mm. I think that's why mpaka leo tuko pamoja kwa sababu nasema huyu msichana alinitoa mbali sana you know. When you leave Africa unaenda Germany or these other countries. Enda huko na one goal. You're going there either to study or you're going there to work. Hata kama umeolewa na mzungu mwenye mm. kuna pesa ama mm. mtu mwenye amekuoa. Mm. Europe you have to work. Hello and a warm welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Gugi and guys thank you so much for joining us for yet another inspirational episode. You know my guest made a joke and she was like Lynn, saingine watu wakiniona me and my hubby, they actually think we are kids to very prominent people but they do not understand the struggles we've gone through and what she particular has had to go through to even make it in Europe including even support putting her own family back here in Kenya she is about to take us through her incredible journey and i hope you guys can be inspired by it but before i can let her introduce herself guys how are you loving kings developers limited i told you this episode is powered by them and i have partnered with them simply because i want you guys to be able to check their properties you know them for their beautiful buildings which include prism towers and even Sifa Towers but did you know that they have beautiful amenities and you can get apartments they have boma they have vintage they have apollo boma iko hapa ruiru which means you can be able to get a very affordable apartment apollo and um vintage they are a bit on the high end but guys i always say do what you can when you can and i am vouching for them and that's why i want you guys to check their properties out because i am also fed up of hearing people in my email saying lean i went to look for an apartment and i got conned this is my brand of choice that i am vouching for they are iso certified and they will be able to take good care of you so their contacts are right here on the screen which will also be pinned on the comment section so do check them out and of course my white top coming to you straight from you know who elegant so if you are able to grab something from them also do so and now without further ado please allow me to let my beautiful guest introduce herself good morning morning arise and shine hello <laughs> how are you how are you kenya asante how are you feeling i'm i'm good i'm good how are you feeling Um I'm fine mm -hmm. thank you. No, but you know I have established with this show. Mm -hmm. When you ask someone how mm -hmm. are you mm -hmm. they say they are fine, right? Yes. Because that's what people will say. Mm -hmm. But now deep down how are you? Um I'm very fine. Yes. Niko poor. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Hi, please introduce yourself. My name is Lois. Yes. I'm a Kenyan. Yes. Living in Switzerland. Yeah. I'm a mother to a beautiful daughter. Yeah, Zuena. Zuena. Yeah. A wife. Yes. And us. Yes. And an interior designer. Wow. Good job. Thank you for being here. Thank It's you. been a long time coming, but yeah. I always say in his own time, God makes things beautiful. beautiful. Karibu sana Elenes. Karibu. How are you love in Kenya? Um, I'm really enjoying especially yes. the weather. Yeah. I love the weather. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we are here for almost three weeks. Mm. So I can't wait to enjoy the the weather. The weather? Yes. Yes. So for do we call you Lois or Mama Mazuena for the purpose of this interview? Um I think I'm a proud mom. Yes. If you call me Mama Zuena. Yes. Sivi uh, Baya but yes. Lois is also it's also good good yes. yes before we can even get started let me ask you Louise mm -hmm. why was it important for you mm -hmm. kutaka kushare story yako there is thing that if you're in europe or if you're in maju 
um, tuko, we are living better than people here in Kenya, mm -hmm. you know. So I just wanted to share my story so that um, anyone who wants to go abroad yes. or anyone abroad yes. uh, wajue Venye maisha hiko. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yes. You went yes. to abroad ukiwa miaka ngapi? Immediately after high school. Yeah. I think that was 1918 there. It, yes. yes. Wow, umekao uko sana. Yes, actually my teenage life siku enjoy more like your life your teenager mm. like you know, the 17, 18, 19 years yes. old, your life. Yeah. Siku enjoy more in Kenya, but nilikuwa already, I'm working yeah. in, in Germany. In Germany. So that made me, nika machua so early, you know. Yeah. Yes. Nika machua so early. I had to. Yes. Yeah. You had to. I had to. I want to get to that part of the story. Mm -hmm. How, you know, you grew, growing up, then live in Kenya. Penye yeah. life ilianza. And okay. Penye umefika sahi. And yes. also what you are grateful for. Mm. So take your time. Mm. If you could please take us through your story. Mm -hmm. Ku grow up. Mm -hmm. Life ilikuwaje. Mm -hmm. Na ulitoka Kenya aje. I grew up. Actually we are three. Yeah. My sister. Mm -hmm. Me and then my small brother. Yeah. And. Before I used to live with my mom and my dad. Mm -hmm. Actually we used to have a very good life. My dad actually used to provide with each and everything that we wanted in a family. Mm. Um, but Maisha ilianza kukua hard when they separated. You know, mom was a businesswoman mm. and my dad was a journalist. So my dad used to travel mm -hmm. all over. Mm. So, and my mom was a businesswoman also. Mm. So while we separate and after that, um, Upon your maisha sasa ilianza kukua different. Not like the, the good life that mm. we used to have mm. before. And so, in short, nili lelewa more later with my dad. Mm. Because my mom went alafu kabaki with my, my dad. dad. Mm. After that, no, I, I just decided like, I think I need to go somewhere. Because as a child, I really wanted to be a nurse. Like, I really wanted these smart, smart jobs, you know. Mm -hmm. A nurse, a journalist, yes. or a cabin crew, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and my dad used to, like, tell me that in Germany, uh, Germany is a very good country to mm -hmm. go, especially if you want to be a nurse. Yeah. Because there are so many old people in Germany mm -hmm. than younger people. Mm -hmm. So... There it's very easy to go and work mm. and help those uh, old people. Old people. Mm. So I grew up knowing that one day I'll have to go to, to Germany. I don't know how, but even my dad told me, I know you, one day you'll go to that country, mm. you know. And Ika kwa tu kwa yangu. Then when I finished high school, Nika anza took soma like German. Mm. I went to a German school so nilikuwa na soma German 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 and one day I got that opportunity to go and work in Germany mm. as an au pair. Wow. Yes. What's au pair? Au pair it's like an exchange program mm -hmm. so you'll go there work take care of the kids and also learn the culture mm -hmm. and also help the parents yes. in the house. Yes. Like you'll be hosted mm -hmm. with with a parent, mm -hmm. exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. How was it like your first day there? <sighs> Lynn, um, me boarding the plane for the first time, especially the in international flights, that was an adventure, you know? Because, okay, I used to fly with the small local flights mm -hmm. here in Kenya, but mm -hmm. the international one, going to Germany, I know nobody there. I've never seen the parents that I'm going now to meet for the first time. I mean, the host. Mm. So it was very difficult, mm -hmm. you know. So, tukachanga changa pesa. I got the ticket. Nani kajitoa. 
Actually, I remember when I went to the embassy to take my visa, they asked me why, 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 like, am I coming back to Kenya? And I told them, no, I'm not coming back to Kenya. I'm going to Germany. And after that, I want to do nothing. And before, actually, I was going there like an au pair, but I knew when I go there, this is, the, this is an opportunity of me studying nursing in, yes. in Germany. Yes. So, mungu ni nani, you mm. know? Like, I need this idea and it really worked. Yes. Okay. So, nikafika Germany. Um, nika ingia train, Zuri. I met my host family there with four kids and a small little dog there. So, yeah, hapo ndo ikakuwa my first home. Mm. Yes. Na sayu unaingia una, una haswa kwa hiyo nyumba mm. kufanya kazi gani? He. I think, <sighs> let me just say, au pair, it's more like a, it's like, more like babysitting, you know. Of course, you learn the culture, they'll take you to school first. You have to learn the language. It's not a must for you to speak the language perfect but they'll take you to school so that at least you have the little knowledge knowledge mm. and also you'll be working like from monday to saturday mm -hmm. sometimes monday to friday if you get a nice host yeah. and then you have like two days saturdays and sunday yes. for you to go and have fun or meet your friends mm -hmm. yeah so i used to work monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday mm -hmm. uh, taking the children to school and also picking them so when they in school, I used to go to the language school to learn the language. Mm -hmm. Yes. Were you happy? Okay, for me, I'll not advise anyone to do that. Okay, it was, it's good to go abroad, but not in that route. There are so many ways of going abroad, but au pair for me, it was a, like, it's a trauma till today. Like I cannot take any of my relative there. Mm. Of course, it has helped so many people in the yeah, world. Yeah. Most of Kenyans, most of uh, Nigerians, people from Africa, most of them in Germany, they went through au pair. Mm -hmm. Now, he may say there are so many people in a good way. Yeah. Now, also, so many people are making a very bad experience. Mm. I'm a horror. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why was it? Why is it traumatic for you? Hey. You see, Lynn, before I went there, I was told that I'm going to take care of two kids, you know. So I was so happy because ah, two kids, just babysitting, taking, care, taking them to school, bring them back home. For me, that was just an easy walk, you know, because Maisha Nilipitia Kenya before, it was tougher than that, you know. So for me, it was, it was an easy thing. But the problem was, the money that you were given, it was not enough. You know, Lynn, if you're in Kenya and someone tells you that I'll offer you a job 30, of 30,000 a month, and that those days you are 18, 17, that's too much money for you, you know? Yes. So for me, I thought, ah, that's a lot of money. So I just, um, maybe it will, it, will, it will be enough for me. But mm -hmm. when I went there, things were tough. Yeah, so sometimes I had to pay for my ticket going to school. You can imagine I used to earn 250 euros. My ticket was almost 50 to 70 euros. My school, because the, the parent, the host that, those, the, the host that I get, um, they used to pay for me half of my tuition. Fee. tuition. So the other... Mm. Tuition fee I used to pay for myself. Mm. Now you can you can imagine two hundred and fifty. So fifty to seventy that is the train ticket. Yes. School I used to pay hundred and something. You know, I have my life lean. I need to buy my clothes, my footer, lotion, shower gels and everything. Mm. It was not enough. Mm. So I was like, I'd rather go back home. But Nika imagine now going back home again. And the way things were tough here in Kasema, no, I'm not going back home. Mm. I came to Germany and I'm not going back home. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then? So it was a struggle because it reaches a point that, you know, Lynn going to, to our family, you know nothing about the family. Mm. Yeah. I know nothing about the kids, you know. And for me, the toughest part was food, you know. I went there when I was, was it 60 kilos? But it reaches a point I was almost 40 something kilos. You can imagine four kids in a house, yeah? And then two adults. Meals tulikuwa tunapangiwa already. Today we are eating two potatoes, two potatoes each, or if it's a piece of meat, unaikiwa hapo. Like, you have to, like nilikuwa nimeplaniwa meals plan, and you cannot change it. Like me in Kenya, I used to eat a bowl of rice with beans, vizuri, na nashiba vizuri. You know? Ugali. Now going there, there's no ugali. You just boil potatoes, maybe with spinach, something like that, and a piece of fish, you know. It was not enough for me. And you can imagine I was that young. I was not, unaona, nikobadu na energy. Mm. And I used to work a lot in that house. Mm. Because kuna pia house kills that I was supposed to do. Like washing clothes. Yes, there are machines, but I used to like fold, you know, sometimes eye on them, mm. uh, like cleaning the house, cleaning the bathrooms, mm. making the beds mm. when the kids are, are in school. And then after that, you go to to your language school. Yeah. So you can imagine Kazimob, a lot of work, and then food, Nikidogo. But the worst part was for me was um, I had to wait for the kids to eat. I love Usasami Nikule. So there's those young little girls and boys. So najua tu watoto. Wana ruka ruka wana kula kila kitu hapo. Sometimes they're left without. You know. Yenye mebaki sometimes wana likuwa nafa wana kule. It was not enough for me. And then the mother was very tough. The father was okay. Very nice um, parent. But I had issues with, with the mm-hmm. with the with the mother of the children. Mm. I don't know if it's because I think of the language barrier, but because I I never used to speak good German, so I used to speak English. Mm. English. So I think conflicts mm. mm. It was tough, Lynn. Tough. But um luckily I met another au pair because mm. it, it was a it was a program. So yes. we, we used to meet with very Different yeah. ones. Yeah, from different countries. Mm. So one of my neighbor had an au pair as well from Kenya, mm. luckily. So the girl was from Kisumu. Mm. So to quote Nongia, the same language. So mm. I, I was so happy. Yeah. Kwanza kutana na mtu, tunaongea Swahili, you know. Good. Yendo sasa haka ni chanua. Mm. Na hitha sema ni kuchanuliwa, mm. sindio? Yes, yes. Ilo kupatiwa good tips so that you can run away. Yeah. Okay, it was, it, it was not good and mm. it was, for me, Yes, ni toroka, but for me it was it's a it was a good way. Yeah, yeah, because um, the lady actually, the the mother of the kids, alikuwa mm-hmm. nataka ni baki hapo till one year. Mm-hmm. Actually, when you go as an au pair, you have to stay in a family for one year. You're not allowed to leave the place, you know, till after one year, and then mm-hmm. you you can go back home or you you maneuver like with yes. other things yeah. you know so for me i stayed there for three months it was very tough for mm. me and you no know, it reaches a point i said no i have to go i'm not going back to kenya but i'll just walk out mm. yeah so the the lady helped me now the au pair girl mm. helped me to leave the place i went to their place yeah something to eat mm. tea mm-hmm. especially yes and then Pia can say, dear, like, where to go, like, to the government, yeah. to go and report my yes. problem. Funny enough, it was a company who took me there from Kenya. Mm. And the company here in Kenya, Awakuniambia, like, the lady was in a blacklist. Like, she was not allowed wow. to have an au pair in mm. her house. Mm. I think it's because of her character. Yes. You know, so when I went to the government to report, they did their research now, Kapata, like the lady was in a blacklist. Mm. 
and from there ndo nikakuwa helped mm. so i was immediately given another family, family because i came with an au pair yes. visa yeah. you know so i, I couldn't change it mm. till after one year mm. so mungu ni nani i went and met a very different family host like ali badilisha maisha yangu till today naweza sema kama si wao i don't know I used to take care of one child. He was six months. The mother was a doctor and the father was a doctor. Mm. Then I said, "Man, now I'm a With my nursing career, this is the place to be." Mm. So they are the ones who nurture me. Now I can. I mean, they guided me. Yes. Paka ni kafanya nasi. You know. Yes. You loved it. Nursing was the only like. Ato kienda you Germany the first thing you'll be told by people it's either you get married ubaki uko ama you you do nursing mm. or these hospital jobs cause they them themselves hawako anapenda mm. like they don't like doing those jobs mm. for, but for us Kenyans ama for us Africans it was an opportunity yeah cause nilipenda nursing like in our families we have so many nurses and doctors yes. so for me it was not a Uh, a big deal mm. so i did some practicals in the hospitals they helped me change my documents to 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 match with the german system and mm. everything mm. they used to pay me so well in i used to earn almost 800 you can imagine 800 euros and in the first family i used to earn 250 in the second family i used to live in my own apartment oh. So I used to go to work you can imagine yeah and then the little child mm. he was just six months the mom used to prepare everything so it's just me warming the food feeding the child and just play with the child but the child was just sleeping like mm. the whole time mm. so it was just uh, for me it was like a holiday mm. you know easy yes easy And sometimes they used to like oh you miss Kenyan food yeah i miss Kenyan food okay how much can you write a list yes they used to give me like 150 euros every month for buying african food and also for making braids because they knew like making rasters mm. and braids in mm. europe mm. you pay it- almost 200 or 100 dollar a uh, euro mm. you know so it was it was the best yeah good I really love them. Yeah. Till now. You guys talk? We talk right now. They have four kids. Wow. <laughs> big boys, you know like big kids. Yes. Yes. We talk like mm-hmm. every Christmas they send me videos mm-hmm. and um pictures of them, you know. Wow. And they also send my videos with my mm. child with my husband yes. like they are so happy for me yeah they watch our videos our vlogs you know they are yeah. so happy mm-hmm. so happy so happy yes yeah talk to me about you know now getting into nursing yeah. meeting your husband and becoming a homestay mom yeah, yeah. so as i said before the the host mm-hmm. both of them were doctors yes they used to work in a university hospital so they You know in Germany before you start nursing you have to do a lot of practicals like my first three years i can say nearly kwatuo i was just doing practicals 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 mm. because kuna pia this problem if you cannot speak perfect german then it was really hard to start nursing mm. because nursing sira is same chezo yeah it's like half of the medicine because mm. even my husband alikonona the things that i was learning and then hey you read all this mm. yes but he used to help me since him himself is a doctor so mm. it was very easy for me to yeah. to to pass the exams yes so i did so many practicals so i got so many nice certificates because they used to love me because i really i i, I really love loved it you know mm-hmm. so i used to work so well and my bosses used to love me so they wrote to me so many nice certificates yes. and these certificates helped me to get a school of mm-hmm. nursing mm-hmm. you know it was tough lean going to the school i was so happy yes i got the opportunity to study 
uh, nursing, we were like two Africans in a class of 37, you know. But the other African girl was from South Africa, so she understood German better than me. Me ilikuwa na ingia uku na toka uku. Eh, you can imagine the functions of a body, body like heart, is your blood system and everything in German, you know, which was really tough. Mm -hmm. To be honest, ilikuwa na ingia uku na toka na uku. Mm -hmm. You know, but I never gave up. Like my boyfriend now is my husband. He used to really push me. Aliambia, you came here to to work. Atukukuja kucheza. So we have you have to read. You have to pass your exams. Because if you don't pass, si juu Because even him, alikuapia nangoja kufanya exam, his medical exam. So it was like I have to pass. Na yeah, pass, ndo tuishi pamoja, like ndo maisha isikuwe, isikuwe ngumu mm. for us. So, nikangangana tulin. I really tried, pia nilikuwa na jifunisha German, you know. Who is God? Actually, I'm, I was among the best kwa theory, German theory exams. Nilikuwa so, like, you know, to be shocked, yeah? Because... Imagine ule mtu wako anaelewa German na ingeoku na toka na uku. But theory, I was very good. You know, I was very good. Na luckily exams zinakuja in theory, you know. Mm -hmm. So nikapita exam. Na funny enough, when I, the first three months in class, hakuna mtu alikuwa nataka kukana sisi, you know. Because wanasema, ah, these people don't speak uh, German. So tikikuwa na group discussion majikuta nyinyi pekeni ndo mko kivienu, you know. But uh, my now my husband, I mean my boyfriend, used to teach me sana, 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 sana. He told me, lazima washinde, you know. Lazima washinde ndo If you are not good, they will not respect you. Nikapita, luckily nikapata job immediately. Wow. Kwa hospitali. Because... You know, the way I was telling you, if you are good, wana kuandike a good certificate. So, after my, it's called an house building. Mm. Now, after my training, my internship and everything, they wrote to me a very nice uh, certificate. Mm. Na ya, wakati nili peleka pia kwa nini, kwa, kwa job, kwa now my first job. Yeah. Wakasema, okay, she used to be a good girl, she mm. used to work very well, so we're giving you this job. Mm. Yeah. And life started. Maisha sasa ndo ikaanza. Yani nikaanza kujua, eh, kumbe maisha ni tamu ikiwa na something. <laughs> yes, Lynn. Maisha ni tamu ikiwa na kakitu. You know, I was that girl, naenda kwa maduka hivi huko za wazungu, na angalia, nikiangalia bei na ona hini mshara yangu, I cannot buy it. So, nikuwa na ngoja hizo mtumba markets, you know. So, I used to go shop there. Izi dungotu wa mtumba mm. mtumba unavaa. Mm. Mm. Jingarisha, ngarisha, and then you buy a nice makeup, something, a nice mm. lipstick. Oh, mm. na ngara tu. Ukipiga ma photos, ukiwa uko, home, kituma Kenya. Eh, hey, what on a life is good. Yes. Wee. Wee. Hey. <laughs> you know in Europe, kama uko na job, then unaezaishi vizuri. Kama uko na job, unaezaishi vizuri. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Unaezaishi vizuri sana. But you have to work hard. Yeah, si kufika and then you are just putting your legs up, unaangalia tu vitu. Ama una expect. Eh, ama una, unafikiria ukiolewa na yule mzungu pale, he'll make your things easier. Mm. We. Hey. Before I met my boy, my husband now, I used to have a, a, um, a, a, a German boyfriend. Mzungu ni nusu nusu like that, yeah? You pay half of the rent, I pay half the, the rent. You go to the restaurant... Half he half. pays half, half, half. <laughs> now, it's normal. It's normal in Germany. We split. We split. Unless you put a good one, when you talk okay, then let me pay for you. But, ni half, half. Unaona. Uko kwa kawaida ni lipa to split lipa, he bill. Exactly. 2020. But also, you see, for me, it was very hard because now, ah, me, I'm used to that. My dad used to do everything for my mom. Then why? Why this now? Mm. You know? So, sikuwa na agree mm. or shopping kwa nyumba like you have to buy this he buys this you know 
it never worked mm. nikasema this one mm -mm. wacha tu nibaki hivyo i go back home maybe nikutane na mkenya mwenzangu or an african then maisha yaendelee mm. but for me it was really hard to cope with that situation mm -hmm. yes so when you lipatana na bwanaku mlingiana tu i think iliingiana because um yeye pia alikuwa na um uh, a german girlfriend mm. so yeye pia i think alijaribu huko akaona pia azingiliani yes. so akasema yeye mm. he has to marry a kenyan mm. or an african mm -hmm. you know maybe damu zitasikizana cuz damu zilikuwa zisikizani eh. so when we met ni kama tulikuwa tumejuana for the last 10 years cuz tulianza kuongea sasa swahili you know now no, you are happy unakutana mm. na mtu mnaongea swahili mm. maisha yakuwa mzuri hata kama hatukuwa na anything mm -hmm. you know kwa sababu sasa unaona we met when we were students hatukuwa na anything so wakati life ilianza kukua poa ni wakati i pass my exam and he passed his medical exam so mimi ngakuwa naleta salary and he brings the salary so hapo ndo sasa maisha ikaanza at least tunakula tunakula vizuri you can go and buy fresh uh, spinach you know fresh meat mm. you know like you go to a butchery and buy meat and those and not those packed meat mm. you know the fresh ones yes so hapo ndo maisha ikakuwa mzuri but nililana lot from my from my boyfriend because when i met him alikuwa na survive na 10 euros a week 10 euros a week hiyo ni mkebe maragu ya mkebe kila kitu ni mkebe 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 these teens you know with lots of chemicals inside yeah is it cheap juices cheap rice everything was cheap yeah we used to have pimples everywhere because like of eating unhealthy meals you know but we survived we used to have a single bed like kakitanda kamoja mm. kamtu mmoja mm. but we used to sleep like tuna share so alikuwa anachukua two chairs anaeka hapo kando ya bed ndio sasa zina space tuko na space ye mara anaanguka kijitan anaamka na chukua viti anarudisha you see like hapo yes. umeka hapo yeah. kando sasa tunaeka viti mbili ndio kitanda ikuwe refu na sasa mko Europe tuko Europe lin tuko Europe nobody knows who in Kenya watu wanajua mean kama juu i'm earning i'm living good i'm living large tunaanguka huko na ma... yani it was tough like we used to have one pan you mm. one you know this frying pan for frying eggs we used to cook ugali hapo ndani rice hapo pia and vegetables and everything like the only one pan sometimes in like Africa place tunajifanya tuko na shida my husband used to go to church you know if you have a problem you will run to church yes. so church wanamwandikia like uh, is it a voucher mm. wanamwandikia and to any of the supermarkets to get some food food Damn. So you go to the supermarket everyone is looking at you because you have a voucher so you are discriminated like eh how and wala kupatiwa machakula you know by that time he was a medical student yeah he was a medical student and he knew that it's just a couple of it's years just a matter of time unaona we even actually i remember we even bought a car to cure my student to lipa i think 100,000 ya Kenya a very old car inaenda inazima katikati ya barabara tunanua like mafuta umeshai buy mafuta ya five bob like we don't have money you know tunanua ile mafuta na kufikia tu place kurudi tunatujui tuna, you know like the car had no heater nothing so we used to carry a heater you know inani choma kwa miguu na you don't worry i will marry you and i'll make sure umelala kwa a very big bed he used actually my husband amenipatia nguvu sana like yeye ndo alikuwa ananini push i think when I, when i was feeling like giving up yeye ndo alikuwa ananipatia nguvu unaona alikuwa ananipatia nguvu sana mm. yes so but some i, I won't say women because mm. i think nowadays hakuna kutotaka kusettle ni kwa kila mtu mm. but why did you trust anakuambia hivyo na mnalala 
yani life iko hard na bado anakuambia na una mtrust na uko na maybe options unaweza angalia yes first like my for example my now my ex boyfriend they used to be very rich sikwata na panda train nika if you want to go f- move from this spot to this other spot gari so it's just kwa na jesus struggles he is the one mwenye alikuwa mm. ananyonyesha mm. like ku, ku kwenda huku kwenda huku na train unaona is it cheap ways to get things cheap ways to buy food places to buy food you know na one thing in a, I mean, alini nilim trust you've asked me about that yes. it's because ali alinisaidia already when i was doing my exams like when i was reading for my nursing mm. exams mm. he used to teach me every day lin as i said before kwa class zilikuwa inaingia huku inatoka huku the german was very hard Harun used to teach me na akaniambia you know what i want you now to be teaching the student in class do you know lean after six months the teacher used to call me and tell me to go and teach the kids uh, to teach the other students mm-hmm. on the blackboard mm-hmm. i was that good yeah yeah my husband yeye ndo alinipatia nini like alikuwa ananifundisha you know nikakuwa that good nikakuwa naweza kusomesha other students una just say when we are, when you are studying nursing in germany yes. by the way i forgot to tell you yeah. tulikuwa tunalipwa but if you are a student au lipwi so my husband hakuwa na anything mimi ndo nilikuwa sasa mimi ndio mdosi wa hiyo relationship sasa <laughs> so mimi ndo nilikuwa provider mm. i think that's why mpaka leo tuko pamoja kwa sababu sema huyu msichana alinitoa mbali sana you know kwa sababu now tunaenda for example kwa restaurant the way you saying the the guy at the restaurant after eating and everything anamletea a bill you see the guy has nothing ana <laughs> <laughs> kitu okay, why do waiters do that why do they always assume it's the man who is going he's to a get... guy me vasuti yes he's taking me for dinner then why should i give the lady mm. the, the the check the check So I used to remove some cash. Bio nampatia na chini ya meza. Oh, yeah. You know. So yeye atajifanya ametoa confuse. <laughs> And Harun my husband alikuwa very good is is so good yes. in pretending mm. apo pia eh yeye pia anajifanya anatoa. <laughs> Anaekelea kwa meza wa oh, yeye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So analipa mm. tunatoka tunaenda home. Mm. Like Christmas tulikuwa tunaenda kwa pizza inaitwa pizzeria yes. inaitwa aji pizzeria pizzeria in mm. english as well like. i think so yeah german call is pizzeria mm. so mm. and i'll pick up i'll take you to a pizzeria in christmas you go eat a pizza so na skin imefurai unajua pizza in kenya tuko tuna kula ile wakati eh kuna wageni yes yeah so tunaenda ku pizzeria tunakula and we are, we are satisfied hatuko na pesa mob mm but tulikuwa tunajibamba na hiyo pesa tuko nayo kidogo you know oh. yeah baka sasa tumeanza sasa mi ku work naleta pesa mm. yeye ameshaanza ku daktari mm. analeta pesa zake mm. so maisha ikakuwa so beautiful tukasema now i think tunajuana vizuri now that now after three years mm. ndo tukasema i think wacha sasa tu we try the relationship but him from the day one aliniambia I'll marry you aliniambia tu from the first day I met him aliniambia wewe you'll be my wife na akakuwa kima every day he used to write me songs because he's a good singer he yes. sings uh, secretly as ambiangi watu but anajua sana kuimba yes he's all round known so an- ananiambia hapo analete to earrings to chain you know sasa ameanza kupata tupesa tupesa you know mm, mm, mm. yes yeah, so akani it's like he was giving back you know oh. so tukatoka kwa kanyumba kale kadogo kale ni hapo hapo kila you call it bed sit mm, or something mm. huh? you cook there you sleep there Ka everything studio too. Ka studio mm. that one i can even say it was a, smaller than a baby sit mm. very small you know so 
tukatoka hapo so me cuz i started working so nilikuwa na nyumba yangu yeah. a one bedroom eh getting a one bedroom ni lag hiyo ni, lag, ni luxury yeah. you know from uh, this ka tiny one yes. to now a one bedroom so Harun moved from so akatoka kwa ako kadogo kilikuwa tunaishi na yeye so mimi nika move cuz i got a job in another place yeah. so nikatafuta ka one bedroom mm. na mimi sandwich nilikuwa na na na, na Anna, as it, i told yes. nilikuwa nalipwa 100000 ya Kenya as a student mm. so aka move akakuwa na kuja kwangu so tuko na bedroom tunafunga bedroom unasema anaenda bedroom so hiyo ilikuwa ina ina bamba <laughs> because even now nilikuwa namuuliza <laughs> Mbona ulikuwa unapenda my house you mm. know I said you know what in my whole life even in Kenya how kwa iko na bedroom wow. unaona hata hiyo life alikulia Kenya mm. na wazazi na kila kitu walikuwa ni single mm. ni nyumba mm. yani hii haina bedroom mm. so mimi I was the first lady kumpeleka yani kuishi na yeye kwa bedroom kwa nyumba iko na ka bedroom you know atanasema hapa ni bedroom anaika kabati yake yangu and everything mm. na tuko na living room yeah. and a kitchen so for yeah. him it was, it was luxury mm. so you can imagine so after passing the exam sasa sinikaanza kujilipia rent and everything so yeye pia ka pass his, his medical exam mm. akakuwa doctor so akaanza ku earn good money but still tukasema hata kama pesa nyingi wacha tu squeeze this place so that you can save that money wow you know hapo ndo tukaanza ku travel the world instead of saving sasa so, sisi ndio wao ku travel mm. belgium all those countries you know sasa tumeanza kupata pesa mm. na tumeanza sasa kupendana yes, yes. tunataka kuona so lazima we travel before kids come yes. yeah, so he used to pay for me everything akasema now it's your turn God, let me take you care relax. of you. I'm telling you. That's why na 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 mheshimu sana, you know. Not everyone anaweza kufanya mtu wake hivyo, you know. Si rahisi, you mm-hmm. know. He does everything for me. It's not that I cannot, but anasema pale nilimtoa ni ni mbali sana, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And that's why unaona hata sometimes mkiwa mmekosana something there's something in our dish tu pamoja yes. like mm-mm. you guys are meant to be together mm. you know evil mm mume hustle tume hustle mume tume say. hustle tumeenda church kuomba chakula tunapatiwa tunapatiwa vouchers tunaficha gari yetu ndio pastor asione aseme hey you guys are coming to ask for food Na and we're driving kadana. a car there so we used to hide it in a forest or mm. somewhere there mm unaona mm. so tu, tu, tume tume nini lin mm. tume tumetoka mbali mm. si watu wengi wakiwa at the peak of their career mm. cuz ulikuwa at the peak of your career yeah. then mtoi akakam mm. then ukaamua nitakuwa stay at home mama yes. kabla tena nirudi kwa career yangu yes. why, why did you make that choice so as i said before mm. nililena na wazazi wawili yeah. alafu baada waka separate after ku separate ndo nilianza kujua nao the true colors of staying without a mom or staying without a dad mm. unaona so mtoto wangu nilikuwa nimeshaambia god i want to raise my child i want to look for yani i'll look for i'll do a, i'll do anything to take care of my child yes job ni mzuri you earn ndo uweze ku provide mtoto but I and my husband to kachindu ka decide you know what in this country hatuna mama hapo around hatuna auntie um, getting a nanny it's mm. very expensive mm. so the only way was moja sacrifice you know for me it was hard before because i used to do everything for myself si sijazoea kuomba omba mtu pesa hata kama my husband ako na pesa yake but me i'm not that girl akwambia mtu kila ma give me give me give me give me mm-hmm. babangu akunifundisha hivyo mm-hmm. niliambwa before upate mtoto make sure uko stable uko na pesa enough uweze ku raise hiyo mtoi uweze kumpeleka shule na uweze kujiangalia yes. mwana mme hezi kukumake happy mm-hmm. ni wewe unaweza jimake happy na ukijipenda lin 
utaweza kupenda mtu mwingine after working for around three years nikapata mtoto but that one had already decided mm. that i now because i'm getting old i need a child mm. na tulikuwa bado tumesha mwana mm. we had already married so mm. it was not a big deal mm. getting a child mm. so we decided well, i'll get a child and then i stay home for mm-hmm. two years because in germany yeah. you can be paid yeah. You know so i stayed home for two years but i used to earn my job used to pay me yes yes what? full salary if you want to stay for one year and then um 60% if you want to stay for two years germany munalipangwa so ukienda hiyo maternity ukipata mtoto unalipwa yes maternity leave ni yes. long uh, you can stay for two years but you can also say for three, but the third year hawakulipi wow unaona but utarudi kazi yes your job will still be there yes what yeah so me nilika i stayed for i took the three years leave mm. because i really wanted my i really wanted my child nikaena yeye i wanted my kumfundisha so many things mm-hmm. alone than yeah. taking her to yes to the daycare something like mm. that so they paid me for two years now the third year my husband used to give me like the pocket money now the money that i used to earn he used to give me like um like the mm. pocket money mm. so si kwa nasikia any difference yeah because uno. he used to pay my salary you know that's oh. why i stayed for three years mm. yes wow so after that he got a job in germany mm. as a as a doctor mm-hmm. Uh, no sorry in switzerland, in switzerland. and mm. that's why we had to move from germany mm. to switzerland yes. after staying for more than 10 years in yes. Twi- in germany wow him i think is more than 15 years mm. in germany mm. so we had to move to switzerland so before that i had already stayed home for three years coming to switzerland i know nothing about the country you know the systems are very different so in switzerland yeah. you just stay for three months in Germany it was you can stay for three years and you get your job no two years and you get your job but mm. in Switzerland it's three months that was a, cho- a shock for me yeah cuz how no then my husband told me you know what it will take us two years for us to adapt the country and that's why i decided to stay home mm. but staying at home it doesn't mean nimekaa tu kazi ni kuosha nyumba na kupikia mtoto mm. I used to do I used to study online and do my, th- my things. Mm. That's why nobody knows if I'm an interior designer. Yeah. Nobody knows that I do um in, in interiors yes. uh, for people. Mm. And this is also a talent. Like it's something that I was born with. Now many people have been telling me that you should go to school yes. and study that thing because you are very good. Yeah. So nikaanza tu kwenda shule na jisomesha. Good. Yeah. So I'm a nurse and I'm also earning as an interior designer There you go. You see. Yes. So mtu akiniona nyumbani anaona maybe mm. I'm just a, mm. a stay at home mom mm. but I used to make my money. Mm. You know. Cuz I used to de- design like there are people like clinics. Yeah, some people just call me people who mm. knows us. Mm. Wananiita mm. like I want you to design for me this room. Good job. Some people some homes they used to call me yes you know and they give me good money mm. more than the nursing thing wow and that's why nilikuwa nimejipatia 10 years of nursing after that i'm just going to interior designing and hospitality how is it i think saindo naanza kuji feel like now this is the job you know like this is exactly what i wanted mm. in germany i could not afford the interior designing school because it was very expensive but now tumekuja Switzerland Switzerland is known for this uh, be, they have best schools in the world yes. of of hospitality yeah. you know na hapo ndo my husband akanambia you know what now this is the place to make your dream come true wow. i'll pay for you it doesn't matter the amount of money that the school will need from me but i'm going to pay for you oh actually i'm in one of the best schools in the world yeah. congratulations the school nice. of hospitality and global business yeah so i'm studying hospitality and global business mm. 
Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Why, why, why hospitality? I love hosting. Mm. You know, interior designing goes with hospitality. Yes. I don't know if you know that. I can sense it. And then most of my friends, when they come to my place, when I call like, ah, this place is beautiful. This place is beautiful. This place is beautiful, you know? Like, eh, unamane jaji white. How do you, you know, like, yeah? But it's something that nimekwani grow up. I always change my house, you know? You come this time, nimefanya if. Kenda this time, kenda bathroom this time. Ah, it's you know? a sneak peek of your house. It's beautiful. Yeah, so it's something that neza sema nikonayo. Yes. But since most of people have been pushing me, my friends, to do it, Mm. I like when you when your hubby me support Yana. Ni kama mkume kwa pamoja how long sasa in total since you met each other? Years. More than 10 years. Yes. And you have been like each other's cheerleader. Yes. Ana kujenga, unamjenga. Yes. Why is that important in a relationship? It's important because you see like my husband is a different person. Mm. So na jue tu madaktari wa ole serious reading books, <laughs> you know. Yes. Na me, I'm that person. Ukinipata kwa nyumba, I'm, I'm just designing, I'm doing my things, you know. Ama niko kwa duka na afikiria, mm, but I can change this thing, huh? No, this thing doesn't look good. Mm. Let me buy it, mm. remove it, put it there. Mm -hmm. So, alafu, napenda innovations. Like, yes. I love modern things. Like, I love, uh, you see, like, now I don't cook at home. Yes. I have a robot who can cook for me, you know. Before I used to sukumana na masufuria, kuru kuru masufuria and everything. Sipendi, mi nakanga tu chini na juliza. Nini, ni nini tuneza tengeneza, nikui nafanya hizi vitu. I'm that kind of a person. Mm. And that's why my husband, I, I think, iyo ndo kitu pia na nipendia, cause miu mchallenge sana. Natakanga... Like the innovation for me, it's 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 very important, mm. and that's why it's like I I can design a hotel, I can design a home, I can design anything, a studio, anything you want. Yes. Yeah, I've traveled to so many countries in this world, so whenever I go to a hotel, it has to be the top notch. Good. I'll not go to a uh, just a hotel to sleep. If I'm paying this money, then it has to be a good hotel. It has to be worth it. Worth it because. I'm going there to learn. I'm not going there to sleep. Mi wendanga kusoma. That's how pia nafanya, nasomanga interior. Mm, are you design. proud of yourself? Yes, I'm proud. And I know my parents, pali wako sai, hi dad, hi mom, I know they're proud of me. Because mm. I was that little child, even my friends in Kenya, wali kwa naniambia, uyu ni mtoto wa maju. From Kitambo. Exactly. Wali kwa najo huyu hata ishi Kenya. Mm. And yeah, your head is so you're so innovative, you know. I have to lean mm. because this is what I love. Mm. Going to uh, an expensive school in the world, unaona, you ni kitu it's an invest it is it is an in, in, investment, investment on its own. Yes, and that's why my husband and I trust. Mm. I mean, I mean, you have to go. Mm. You have to go. Our fee is almost I don't know if I'm allowed to mm -hmm. say, but it's around um Four million a year. There we study with kids from all over the world. The Watutua MPs, um, prominent in the world. You know, we are ninety nationalities. There are even few Kenyans who are there. Yeah. I'm so proud, Lynn. I'm so proud. Like in my class, I'm the only black. My teacher loved me to death. Like, I'll go and say, eh, wait, wait, you want to study, yeah? But you already have your own businesses that you are running, you see? But how? It's something that I've been having it. Like, if he sees the businesses that I'm running, the interior and everything, they always ask me, who, da who did this? You know, like, wanashindwa, we unataka kusoma, but you already know what you mm -hmm. want. No, I'm just coming to school to perfect it. And also, inanga muisho. Inanga muisho. Mm. my husband, I think I'm a soma kila kitu. I'm a soma everything. Ata, I think say I'm a back in kwa professor. Mm. Na yondo kitu nani motivate. My husband wakes up every day at 4.30. Mbona mimi? Mbona mimi si some? 
you know hiyo ndio kitu mimi nampendea ananipush ya anasoma amemaliza amesema nao it's your turn i'll take care of the child i'll take my child to school he'll take the child to school in the morning while i'm going to school mm. and then he'll pick he'll pick the child from school in the evening when i'm in school mm. because i'll be going and coming back in mm. the in the evening mm. you know it's good to see such relationships and i remember when we were talking over the phone you were telling me mm. people need to understand to be successful as a black woman in europe you don't have necessarily to have the mzungu yes yes lin unajua when i went to germany mimi nilikuwa nafikira now my life will change i'll buy a big car i'll build a nice home for my parents nitapata mzungu who will help me you know i know there are good mzungus there are good uh, mzungus sikatai ni wazuri kuna wazungu wazuri watakufanya everything but it's 20% of them lin uliza anyone mwenye yuko either in germany ama at switzerland mm. for example mwenye maolewa na mzungu kama maisha yao ni nyueve ni watu wanafikiria there are also difficulties in those marriages or relationships si semi ati ukikuwa na muafrika uh, husband so kila kitu ni perfect kwa nyumba no we are different people unaona so kila mtu ako na shida mm. zake mm. but na find ikiwa a bit easier kwangu kwa sababu ananielewa anajua pale nimetoka mm. You see hao wazungu wanakujanga Kenya ama wanakujanga Africa for their holidays. Lindo kuja holiday you have to save. You have to save for you to buy the plane ticket to pay the hotel if you have if you have no investment, mm. you know, na pia ku survive. So si kila kitu si kila mzungu mwenye anakuja Europe ni tajiri. Na hata mwenye anakuja huku when you go back there they're just living normal lives. Mm. No villas nothing just rental apartment like any other one mm. yeah so when you go there unapata shock mm-hmm. unafikira eh amekupeleka this beach hotel this 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 so life is good unafikira asa so ndo ni ndo nitashikililia no when you leave africa unaenda germany or these other countries enda uko na one goal you're going there either to study or you're going there to work hata kama umeolewa na mzungu mwenye mm. kuna pesa ama mm. mtu mwenye amekuoa. Mm. Europe you have to work. Hakuna mm. kwenda kukaa housewife. Europe hakunanga housewife. Hapo unaweza upande mahindi ama mboga kwa shamba na ukule. There there is nothing like that. Mm. You have to work. You have to bring something. Yes. Unaona? Na mise kubwa sisi wa Kenya tunaendanga. Nasema kama wa Kenya because nime nimekuwa na so many friends mm. wenye pia wanapitia a lot of problems in Europe. Yeah. Ukienda Europe wacha pombe. Najua pombe ni cheap in Germany than maji. But it doesn't mean unaenda huko kukunywa pombe kulewa. Wacha ku mistreat watu. Ule mtu amekuoa yeye pia ni binadamu. It doesn't matter ni mweupe ama ni mweusi, yeye pia ni binadamu. Mm. Ha? Nenda huko na heshima zako, akuoe wak fanya mother's duty. Mm. Penye tu Kenya unaambua mama kazi yake ni kufanya hivi, ukifika huko pia fanya. Mimi in my house I do my cleaning, I iron for my husband, yes. I cook for him, I do everything for him. Mm. Neo kitu ndo nimefundishwa like a Kenyan woman. Mm. It doesn't matter whether your husband has money or not. People are going through a lot. Mimi nakwambia in Europe especially we Africans 80% wana wanaandago depression bila kujua you know ndio unashtukia mtu amejua ama wengine wamepatikana wamekufa pahali wengine sijui wamefanya nini wamefanya nini you know yeah ini juu kuna vitu nyingine lean mtu anaweza avoid yeah na ukiona umeshindwa kabisa home is home you know ukiona huwezani na maisha ya Europe go back home yes. rudi nyumbani Usianze kulewa na kumistreat watu na kumisbehave kwa country ya mtu. Ile ni country na sheria zake. Unaona? So you have to follow their rules. Mm. Yes. Rudi nyumbani. Rudi nyumbani. Oh, talking of home pia. Mm. Invest pia home. Invest home. Yes, I saw you yeah. you built a very beautiful house for your parents. 
Yes, that was my dream. Mm. That was my dream. Honestly, ni mejenga online, I can say that's an online home. Mm. Siku involve, um, siku kuwa. Mm. Actually, ni lijenga within two years. Mm. And in 2021, I came to, to see it. Mm. And it was perfectly built, mm. you know. I designed it myself. Kila kitu nilijifanya mwenyewe. Mm. Furnitures and everything. You know, nilijikea mwenyewe kila kitu. Mm. Na nika wakutanisha my mom and my dad. Mm. Since walikuwa me separate, mm. tukasema now this is the right time of them being together, living together mm. kwa hiyo nyumba. Mm. Na sayi, we are, happy, we are living happily. Yeah. Baba amerudi, uh, mama amerudi, baba amerudi. So tunaishi pamoja vizuri. Mm. Na tunafraia, mm. like my, my sister, my brother, Wote, they are so happy. Yeah, wana feel aje. My mom, I think, ana, kila ni kimpigia simi, ana niambia tu venya na tuombea, you know, like, anaombea my husband, because without my husband, pia hatungeleza kutengeneza that house, mm. I mean, say there in so many ways, na my dad, anasema ya naishi kama king, king. ako na mfanyi kazi, mm. ana, ana, anaosha nyumba, kuna mtu wa kumpikia, you know, mamangu tumemfungulia duka, hapo wow. njia gate, kila mtu kwa hiyo vile jana kuja kununua hapo, mm. you know, Laba. there are so many kids tuna support, mm. say, like, I'm so happy. Mm. Mm. Na baraka zina wafuwa. Blessings zina kuja, zina kuja, mm. paka sipia say, tunafanya our own investments, mm. sikai kwa nyumba ya mtu nikienda Kenya, I live in my own house, we do other businesses, and there are other businesses which are coming. Mm. Yes, and that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, there, there's an mm. ongoing conversation that I've been having here on the platform, mm. especially on getting scammed and getting conned to your diaspora yeah. uki mm. invest home. Ni ungetaka kupea watu advice gani? Miki tu advice ngeli patia watu ni ata situ likoniwa. Like before ufike palu mefika lin, uta uta pata lots of con kabisa. Uta, utakoniwa lini sidanganyi. Mm. The first time, the second time utakoniwa. But the third time unachanuka. Mm. You know, like me, I used to send people to buy for me furnitures and do this and this and this. Yes. They go buy their cheapest one, hawafanyi. Unaona. Because I used to build a house for my dad in in Mombasa, mm. unaona, in the coast. Mm. Sikuweza kuimaliza yu nyumba. Why? Because I was conned with everything. Yeah. Ilifika place, like, nikachana na yu kwanzo, kasema, let me just wajengea nao mm. ushago since my dad ame retire amerudi ushago meru mm. you know so what i used to do is if i want tiles i'll go to the website the real website unaona na google napata address and everything na nunua tiles na ambia one this na watumia house plan and everything after that i send someone to go and see if this shop exists mm unaona mm. confirm kama wamepata letter from me mm. wakisha confirm wanapiga screenshot and everything then najua it's a real shop yeah. that's how i managed to build yes. uh, those for those your parents even the other home in mombasa mm. you know mm. na watu wengi wanafikiria nilikuwa hapo i was not there mm. for, for example saim to ako diaspora na nataka mm. ku invest you know as mm. i was saying mm. this conversation mm. is in partnership mm. with kings developers yeah. and they have apartments mm. they have these beautiful properties mm. and so, so, now, now now it's easier when people just call them directly yes. because you know they are iso certified so which means ni kama venye umesema ukituma pesa kwa bank utapata refund yeah, the same way maybe ukituma unataka ku invest now mm. na maybe kuna issue hiyo mm. kukuwa certified means kuna hiyo accountability mm. unaweza enda to the relevant authorities eh? mm. for the guys when you are diaspora na wangetaka ku invest what's the biggest one tip unaweza wapatia they have to go like direct to the company mm. for me what really saved me was going to the company direct you know, in a company, there are so many. What yes. are you brokers? Yes. Uh, mm -mm. First of all, you do a research about the company. Also, the reviews. It's mm. always good to read about the the company. Yes. You know. Kuna company, you know, like two stars, three stars. Fanya re more mm. research. Mm. You know. Ama, if you see someone, maybe I'm in a comment, like name or something like that. 
unaweza pia contact mm. ama and if you know anyone ame buy yes. the property yes. with that company mm. try tell the company mm. if they can allow you to to meet yes. unaona watu wenye wame, mm. wame buy na the mm. company mm. the people there they are the ones who will tell you the truth cuz wao ko on the ground yeah. unaona na another thing is don't buy any property kama hujaiona kama hujaiona better pay you a plane ticket it's just a thousand bob if it's economy you know kuja kuja ona ona chunguza gusa hapa enda na yes enda na engineer enda na engineer yes it will cost you a lot of money taking an engineer and an architect but lean in a worth unaona engineer taangalia nyumba and will tell you this house yes unaweza nunua this house not and if you cannot do that buy a house through a bank unaona buy a house through a bank because because bank watafanya due diligence they'll do for you everything they'll do for you everything so for me i always say like my next properties nitanunua through the bank even if i have the cash i'll take the cash to the bank bank wanifanyie kila kitu you know Because them wako na watu wao you know yeah even the i understand where the kenyan embassy pia wako na hiyo part mm. ya kusaidia yes, kufanya due diligence yes, yes. so why don't you de- why do, don't you take that chance due diligence you know, usikae huko ambiwe tuna mtu mwingine like us tulikuwa tunaambiwa he utakuliwa utakuliwa maisha yetu yote in germany tumekuwa tukiambiwa utakuliwa utakuliwa pesa yako but look at us now yeah beautiful properties yes yes mm-hmm. yeah looking yeah. back at your journey mm-hmm. unaweza sema the greatest lesson mm-hmm. umelearn ni nini i think to be patient mi kwangu i think patience imenisaidia cuz i always take a lot of time ku like kufanya something i don't just rush to do something yes usi rush If it's that house you want to buy or to build for your parents, don't rush. Take your time, kuwa na patient, fanya research zote, fanya kila kitu yenye mm. unaona itakufanya wewe uko satisfied. Mm. But usikimbie because of pressure from mm. other people, Nika from people. Yako. You know. Kuna pressure nje mm. a lot. Mm. Uh, my friend amejenga villa, I also want a villa. I want to travel to this country uh, because my friend amefanya hivyo. You know, no be patient na pia enda na mm. your pocket yes, yes. najua your husband and makena wako pahali hapo nje wakikugoja yes so ask interview but mm. i watch ungetaka mm. kumwambia nini that special message you have for him you can no, look my husband yes um <laughs> ni yele da kumwambia um Harun you're just the best I, I want to thank you for each and everything that you've done to me. Eh uh, umenisaidia sana 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 and hata sijui ni I don't I lack words because if I start counting each and everything that you've done in my life then I can write a whole book. So I just want to tell you that I love you so much regardless of what i know sometimes uko busy at work i'm also busy in school but i love you and i can't wait to um to spend the rest of the uh, the rest of the years with you mm. oh i'm just proud of me yeah i'm proud of me and Um ningeltakani the whole world wajue hakuna kitu nakuja rahisi lin nothing comes easy hakuna nothing nimejaribu ku research kuangalia so many things but hakuna kitu nakuja rahisi you know hakuna yes mtu anaweza kuona nje you are walking you are smiling umeva ngo mzuri maybe ume, unapeleka gari mzuri mm. but u, ukiona mtu kama huyo you just jaribu upate muda you just ask her or him about his life everyone has a story mm. 
kila mtu wako na story kila mtu wako na story na ukiona mtu wote yuko successful o mtu amefanya a very nice thing in life muulize his struggles atakwambia hakuna kitu nakuja rais nothing lean comes easy mm. yes mata kidogo yes na kitu naezambia mtu ni mungu god god changes things yes god changes things mm. sijui nani ajui mungu but mimi actually ni mungu yani there are so many things nime go through nasema if it was not god sijui ningelikuwa wapi you know nimepitia a lot in my life mpaka sasa nasema nga kuna mtu kweli anakaa china anasema nga kuna nga god yeah you know number one, pia mweke mungu regardless uko na pesa hauna pesa god number one. cuz naweza kuwa na pesa the next day nothing the same with our story we used to live good alafu kaenda zikapotea when my parents separated kila kitu liisha but look at, na, at us now they are now living again good my my mom is happy my dad is happy kila mtu kwa family kwa village yuko so happy na, and so proud of me you know yeah yeah Con- so yeah Con- god changes things yeah yes and even yeah. in school congratulations thank you so I, much i'm really wishing you all the best Thank you. And you you are already big out there. But may you continue to prosper. Thank you so much. Thank and you. thank you for making time to come. I know you are jet lagged. <laughs> I'm sorry we were late but no. At least I'm I'm happy that it happened. At least you are here. That is the best part. At least you are here. So thank yeah. you so much. And even I wish you a beautiful stay here. Thank I'll you. soon be coming to see an amazing property that you have somewhere. Yes, so yes. I can't wait. And just for making time honestly to bless us with your show you've inspired us. Mm-hmm. For me I always say when you mesema everyone has a story. Yes. Mtu anaweza ona unakaa hivi but wajui umepitia nini. Exactly. So may your story encourage our own audience mm-hmm. and also i'm looking at you you left this country going to babysit <laughs> and now you are here in one of the best schools owning properties beautiful yeah. family nini yeah. ni mtu aezi achieve mungu tu ukiweka mungu mbele ni nini uwezi achieve na hope hakuna kitu uwezi achieve so good luck and all the best in everything that you are doing and guys i hope you've really been inspired uh, by her story and that's why i keep telling you mtu asikwambia atiwezi fanya kitu lakini pia umesikia kitu i like that one of my friends keeps telling me this every other time hakuna cha rahisi like hakuna cha rahisi i think tunafasa hata tuanze kuva hizo tissues hakuna cha rahisi because the more i grow the more i realize eh, hakuna cha bure na hakuna cha rahisi. You get what I'm saying? It's good sometimes to commit to something and see ikibea fruits, right? So thank you so much for watching and umesikia she also has a couple of tips to anyone who wants to invest back home and you don't have to be in diaspora to be able to get those tips even if you are here na mtu amekwambia there is a property somewhere and because you trust that someone you are like sawa nichukulie no do your due diligence lipa matatu ingia chukua gari chukua uba enda mpaka hapo hakikisha ile kitu umeoda na ile kitu ume receive is the same thing right and that's why i am happy to be doing this collab with kings developers limited because they are the only real estate company right now working together with the government so if that's not accountability enough i don't know what accountability is that means credibility yao iko juu accountability yao iko juu their properties are worth vouching for and i like that they cater for everyone all round 360 whether it's affordable kitu affordable yenye unajua unaweza funga macho sasa hii useme niko na 4m na nataka apartment where can i go they have boma in zimeja huko they have vintage they have apollo they cater for everyone yani guys if you want just a very humble apartment wako nazo if you want high end everything they have you guys sorted and as i said cha muhimu ni ujue 
mtu akienda na pesa yako unampata wapi so guys that's why i want you to be careful and if you are thinking of getting a property try kings developers limited na msiogope kusema lean sent you there i am sending you there because i trust them i vouch for them and i know they will be able to give you great properties so go try them and also if there is anything unasikia wasiwasi email me lean.gugi@lnn.digital or if you want to share your story with us info at lnn.digital that's where you can find us but before i wind up you have a youtube channel you and your hubby yes. please tell us about it kabla niende okay we have a youtube channel yes. called haze yes h a a yeah y yeah. c e yes and then family yeah yeah so we love traveling yeah. and in our channel we show a lot of traveling videos yes. especially our and our life in Switzerland yes and also some medical tips yeah exactly yeah so what wakuje waangalie hapo yes. they show you some love because yes. that's important yes it's me. a young channel yeah. atunanga uh, watu wengi but it's growing it's growing yes. na venye tumesema pe patience patience kila kitu na wakati wa na wake. wakati wake si ndio yes. shall yes. we wind up ama kuna kitu ungetaka kuongeza um actually i'll just uh, want to say subscribe to oh my god <laughs> please do the channel <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> yeah Thank she's you. changing lives she's really it. changing lives and we can't wait lin to give you a surprise when you come to Mombasa. I can't wait to. Yes. And thank you. I really appreciate you. Asante pia. Yes. Na asante kwa maombi pia. Si ni sawa? Yes. Yeah. So guys, I got to go. Take good care of yourself. Remember a lot of just be kind. Keep trying. Do not give up on your dream and I keep saying no matter what your hustle is there is no shame in hard work. Are you to get out? <laughs> We are good now. See you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Peace.